Hello everyone. Today is 5th June 2021. The day which reminds us of World Environment Day which is celebrated all over the world so as we could all understand our responsibility towards our mother earth. So here's a small presentation before you. I'll expect all the audience, the children and the parents who have joined me for today's webinar to stay muted throughout and whatever interaction, whatever answers to the questions you will be you will be making that has to be through the comment section. Thank you so much uh, for joining and here I begin with my presentation. I hope uh, all of you are able to see my window. Uh, small yes in the comment section will help me proceed further. Thank you so much. Today is World Environment Day uh, and the theme of this decade that is from 2021 to 2030 that has been declared by United Nations. The theme is Ecosystem Restoration. You know why? Every year, a new theme is given to all these special international days that are celebrated, either that are proposed by United Nations or any of the countries. And that is for each year, it is different. But this time, they have given for the entire decade. The only reason is ecosystem restoration is not a small task. It is a big responsibility for all of us. And it can, cannot happen overnight. So we have to work consistently and persistently on the same so that we can really restore the ecosystem for our future generations. And here it goes. So that is what is mentioned here, United Nations Decade on Ecosystem Restoration that begins from this year, 2021 until 2030. So each year we will be reminded of our responsibility towards the ecosystem, towards the environment and towards the air, water, land that we use, the flora, the fauna that are, uh, that are around us. So everything has to be taken care of. And United Nations is celebrating the whole decade for this. And this beautiful picture shows how Mother Nature is hugging our Earth. So our Mother Nature has always been taking care of Earth. And now it is the responsibility of the children, that is a future generation, to take care of Mother Earth, to understand their responsibility. And that is what for each year these special days are celebrated. So whatever problems are earth is facing these days we'll be discussing a, a little in short in the coming um, slides so that will be told to you and we'll also be discussing about the responsibilities and what all we can do to overcome those things and at the onset i would uh, very generously uh, pay my tribute to sundarlal bahugunaji who passed away recently he was an eminent environmentalist who started out with Chippo Andolan or the Chippo movement that was initially initiated by his wife and taken over by this gentleman who had nothing in mind and heart but the environment and the way we can upkeep. So a tribute to Sundarlal Bahugunaji whom we lost but who has inspired many more lives so that we can understand our responsibility as well. Now here comes a question through the slide. I have two parts of this um, presentation, the slide. One is section A here and the other is section B. Now tell me and put quickly in the chat box, which part do you love to see? Oh, it has been a speck of a moment and I've got so many replies. So this is section A, yes. Everyone will love to go for a section A. Thank you. Thank you, children. Uh, you have been responding so well and so promptly. It is section A because 
it has colors yes i've been getting the reasons also yes it has colors beautiful pictures oh great that's and that shows a happy earth and a happy place to live and part b is uh, grayed out with um, you know no colors are there no pictures no flowers no birds no flora fauna so it is not liked by anyone so yes any one of us will definitely uh, will be wanting a happier place to live a delight to stay on this earth and yes but then we have to work on it right and uh, i'm sorry i have skipped one of my slides here i'll go to the previous one here due to uh, the these hard times that we have been facing through the um, corona pandemic this covid has brought um, so many of grief and tears but it has also brought along the happiness and cheers also because we have learned a lot from covid and uh, what it says is whatever problems we are facing during these days that can be overcome and for that we need to go for the greener side and uh, this has really reduced pollution to some extent but today only i was reading through the newspaper uh, that is the times of india that tells that still we have a long way to go when it comes to um, you know a pollution free environment we have to work lots on that concern yes the environment is where we all meet where we all have a mutual interest i'm sorry interest it is the only one thing all of us share so this is one big home where we all live so this has been very aptly remarked by lady bird johnson so that's that's a quote i wanted to to bring forth and yes when i say ecosystem is our home our to do that is a task to do is reimagine recreate and restore so we have to reimagine a beautiful world recreate and work to recreate and restore the very healthy environment uh, for everyone so that we can gain healthier life happier life and resilient community and remember there is no planet b we just have to live on this mother earth on this planet earth and we have to ensure that this planet remains a wonderful planet where we can live and here is a small uh, question answer round that we'll be starting but before that i have a, a message to convey save the animals and save plants animal extinction so here i've given a little worry towards the extinction of animals that's happening it occurs when there are no more individuals of that species alive in the wild anywhere in the world sometimes it happens for example when humans invade their natural habitat so we have to see and we have to see how uh, and uh, what's happening so i'll give you two pictures you will have to select so let's click on play and here it is games uh, you have to tell about which is the extinct animal pinto allen tortoise or polar bear now very quickly mention it in the chat section yes yes uh, shivani yes rudranshi yes uh, okay arjun yes everyone is mentioning pinto allen tortoise uh, i have been getting one answer from anamika polar bear all right Okay so more few more answers on polar bear yes i'm getting more answers on pinta island tortoise oh yes let me tell you polar bear is not extinct yes and uh, the climate change made them lost their habitat and be listed as a threatened species it is threatened but it is not extinct so we can work to ensure it does not get extincted but then uh, pinta uh, island tortoise is extinct Now here uh, I'm talking about these two animals here. Yes, one is a bird flamingo, and the other is Western African black rhinoceros. Now tell me which one is extinct? Okay. Again, Aradia coming up with flamingo. Jitesh with West African black rhinoceros. Okay. A rhinoceros is another answer. Flamingo, flamingo. All right. Thank you. Thank you for mentioning. Yes. Let me see. west african black rhinoceros 
is extinct and the cause of extinction is poaching has decimated this population and destroyed their habitat and flamingo still isn't extinct the construction near to the habitat because of the widespread of population and rather increase in the population has uh, you know made a lot of construction things happening and um, it is more accessible to land predators these flamingos so it, they are not extinct but still they are uh, one of the you know species that we have to take care of so here scientists estimate that we humans share a planet with another 8.7 million different beings we are not the only person who are living whatever we think of we can do it's not the case we have to really take care of other members of our big family that we have on this planet so in the world currently 1.2 million species have been cataloged so we have been able to identify those species which means more than 7 million remain unknown to science so there's lots to explore so you children i hope many of you must be thinking of becoming scientists biologists ecologists Uh, yes many of you will be wanting to become uh, you know uh, researchers so you people can dig out about the 7 million that still remain unknown to science you need to work on this whatever it is we need to understand their and their uh, importance we need to understand their requirements and ensure that the planet earth is saved so we here can do our part Why don't we begin from our own garden, planting a small sapling? So all all of you are ready. I hope all of you will plant a small sapling after getting inspiration of today's webinar. So that will be your little contribution to the Mother Earth. But ensure one more thing: promise to your own self and promise to that little sapling that you are going to take good care of the sapling, sapling until it grows and blossoms and. actually start giving humbly you know the shade the fruits the food the flowers and of course the oxygen which is at most required hmm? you know, let's do little recycling so remember recyclable materials are not trash trash in the sense it should not be dumped up like this we can practice home cycling and rather recycling and separate the recyclable material at home only and then we can dump it or give it to uh, the finally the um, you know sweeper who comes to your place so here now our uh, municipal corporation has started working lots in that concern so uh, here uh, let me tell you about four different bins that we have plastic glass paper and metal so proper lid so that recycling can be done so that least wastage should happen at home 
no tell me uh, this is a assignment you can take a screenshot and send me your answers after the webinar is over we'll see that you get the um, you know certificates on that so click on the right container for this material so this material is paper and the cardboard right that's a carton so that is made of cardboard so you need to choose which bin you can put your this thing uh, all right so i'll take you uh, yes it is paper and it takes decomposition takes two weeks to five years and the color of the bin is something you need to tell me uh, the answer recycling and yes we have uh, you know the uh, bottles you need to tell about the plastics the decomposition take 500 years just imagine we keep drinking cold drinks we keep taking so much of you know plastic bottles we even the refined oil these days have started coming into the plastic bottles and we throw after each other. why don't we use refill packs Mm -hmm. and we can empty those um, you know refill packs into the main container so just ensure that least use of plastic happens at your home then we have for this glass bottle and gl uh, glass tumblers the jars so you have you should tell me it is which color bin it should be put in let me tell you the decomposition takes indeterminate time so here i hope you understand how much painful it is and this is about the aluminium tin you need to select the right color bin and it takes 550 to 100 years that's again a long time so just avoid the use of these things so here kids you should know the importance of recycling the world produces about 300 million tons of plastic waste each year and only 9% of the plastic waste generated is recycled. It's so painful. And what next? You know, we will be having a lot of problem here in getting things decomposed and it is really going to create pollution and nothing else. So you have to promise your own self today. And that is why so many NGOs have started coming up. So many uh, government policies have come up. You need to ensure that how you do so now we need the need of the hour is to protect the activities uh, the protecting activities and saying no to plastic bag i think should be the first say small actions can help protect the environment from being damaged we should take care of our planet as it is our home help to protect See, let me discuss um, the government policy here. The, um, of course, the government from the center has been telling us very oftenly to avoid the use of plastic. And the UP government also started out with one big policy of say no to plastic. And uh, we all have uh, noticed this thing that plastic was banned and there were no plastics available. You know, the plastic polythenes were not available even with the vegetable vendors. But I've seen a few people arguing or say, you know, uh, you know, uh, snubbing on these things that why plastic is banned? How will we carry the vegetables? Why can't we carry our own cloth bags to the vegetable market? and get all the vegetables in one bag and later we can take some 10 minutes or 5 minutes to um, you know segregate those vegetables we can um, bring, uh, take along a separate uh, bag all together a small bag if you need to buy tomatoes so that it doesn't get dumped up along with the other vegetables so these small things uh, we have to practice and I think you as children and the other participants have joined me so promise your own self to ensure that the plastics should be avoided to be brought back home. And thankful I am so much to the sweet uh, shops and few other vendors from the bakery shops also. We've started up with cloth bags now. Uh, yes, they can afford it, so they are able to do it because somehow they get things uh, managed through the amount or the price of the item that you are buying. But these poor vegetable vendors cannot. So they are, have started again uh, continuing the use or giving the vegetables in the plastic bags for want of uh, the same from the customers. So the government alone cannot do anything. It's you who have to initiate your request and another protecting activity here think about what we can do together to protect the environment so let's all think together and work on it right 
so and yes let's do it together we can um, ensure that nothing is thrown um, on uh, streets if you if you are a sweeper is not coming for few days you better put it in a black big garbage bin and dump it either on the blue or the green container that you see or what we call as upshift gray you know the place where uh, the uh, the entire uh, garbage is dumped uh, so government has made those places also so please ensure that it gets placed there only and reusing activity as i have already discussed with you people reusing and giving a new purpose of old materials is one of the best ways to help the environment and this is uh, of course we have already discussed in the previous slide you can decorate uh, your bottles your jars your containers and you know make uh, either the pen stand or the toothbrush holders or your spoon holders and uh, even your cutlery your knives and other things can also be kept so you need to be innovative in that concern if i talk about the cardboards that uh, you have at home so you can make a small bird house that is really going to be um, very beneficial also and it is going to be a benevolent activity because uh, the bird house can be made through the cardboard you can use any paper or cardboard you have at home and there are four ways you need to you know make a cut here and uh, the one things that you require is paper hard box pencil scissors string and dry straw nothing more than that so this is the way uh, steps 1 2 3 4 simple steps and you can do it for yourself and be benevolent show your courtesy and your um, concern for the birds and then every day you can put the bird food into it right controlling pollution is the need of the hour so we need to plan more trees pollution is a global problem water and air pollution are the biggest causes of global warming so everyone has been studying in social sciences and in biology chapters also so pollution in general can cause human diseases and all of you have already studied lots about it so please please it's not just um, limit yourself to answering the questions in the examination try and think about it and work in that concern that's important so there is a small pollution activity for you um, so after the webinar you can post your answers to me think about how our actions could stop pollution and finish the following list i'll tell you about that format write it down and hang it where you can see it so that when you will keep on looking at it keep on seeing it you will be reminded that you have to do those steps complete and share the list with us and here this i have given one uh, option for you so that it gives you an, a little idea so about water pollution you may mention do not throw trash on the street because it then gets into the drainage and which finally moves to the river side and the river gets polluted hmm? if I, if i talk about air pollution choose walking over cars and automobiles so that's one um, of the two uh, i mean two solutions that i've given one for water and one for air pollution control so you can write the others and send us your entries and yes i'll be appreciating you for your wonderful entries yes we need to understand the problem that's important and so it uh, by this picture i think is important because it has a potted plant and it is a plant that grows and this heart shows the love and care that you show towards your green plant and then the recycling uh, process the reuse reduce and recycle concept that is taught to you is also given in this picture and yes a picture is a worth a thousand words so here this picture of a bin me shows that yes the energy can be converted to one form or the other i'm getting a wonderful reply that's that's very prompt and very nice wonderful and here it also tells that yes we can use the natural energy that is the wind energy to get convert to get converted to the electricity or other things also maybe into mechanical energy also uh, some turbine can be uh, made to run through the um, wind energy so yes deploying these things yes um, we can go ahead with those policies those uh, the people who are you know looking for their own entrepreneurship should 
now think on this side of the table and look for a greener solution to everything and uh, this picture is reinforcing the concept the earth is in the hands of the human beings and we really need to care for this earth and it is on the green base that means the only solution to ensure that ecosystem is restored is going green and this is again a picture that tells about so many recyclable things the greener place then uh, so that it can work on the uh, this thing and the uh, factories uh, pollution and then we have got wind mill that of course get things converted the energy can be generated and this these are the solar panels that converts the solar energy into again the power so so many solutions we have here in this picture now when we heal the earth are we healing the earth alone no we heal ourselves so this is what the picture says a beautiful picture that i really love uh, for my life and i sh- i'm sharing it with you people so that you understand the importance of love and care that you can show towards your mother earth and yes we are the saviors we have no other choice we are the saviors and we have to be on the front line to work in that concern so uh, for that i request all of you to take pledge and uh, as i go to the pledge i'll also request you all to take the screenshot of this pledge and remember this pledge uh, record your videos and send us through your through the mail of uh, the school official id so that we uh, can understand how many of you have really taken it seriously right so as the pledge goes i put my hand on my heart and take the pledge i will plant more trees rather more than one tree every year and i will also care for it this is very important planting of course is very uh, important and it is needful but taking care of this plant so that it grows and blossoms and is of use to the environment that is also very very important I will not waste the natural resources like water, electricity, petrol and others. I will not use plastic or will not burn it. I'll reduce the use of equipment that generates pollution. I'll make my lifestyle environment friendly. Right? Thank you. So these are the five points that I wanted you people to remember always. thank you for joining me for this wonderful presentation i'm so happy that you people have been so interactive and i'm sure that all of us will definitely work to make our environment beautiful thank you so much thank you for being here and uh, i'm stopping uh, my presentation presently and i will expect the entries from your people uh, very soon and definitely the attendants will all get the participation certificate for uh, showing their concern and their interest and they care and they love towards the environment and the ecosystem thank you once again god bless you all.